Hello, my name is Vinay Prakash. I am from excelchamp.net. Today in this video, I want to show you how you can analyze data using pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. Most people do not realize how easy it is to use pivot tables to analyze any kind of data. Pivot tables have been existing in Microsoft Excel since ages. Let, let us start by looking at a little bit of data. This data is collected from a travel agency. The travel agency wants to find out how they can better allocate their funds for marketing. Who should they target? To analyze, they have been collecting this piece of data which contains the amount spent on travel by each passenger, the age of the passenger based on their passport, and the gender, whether they are male or female. And we have just a little bit of data. If you look at, we have only 926 rows of data. So from this, we are supposed to find out the best way to segment this data. So one of the easiest way is to use a pivot table. Click anywhere inside your data. Go to insert. As you can see, I'm using Excel 2010 version. Once you go to insert pivot table, a pop-up will show up and all the data is automatically selected. So I really don't have to do anything except to press OK. Once we press OK, we get to see the Excel pivot table screen. It is extremely easy to drag the gender in the row labels and the amount spent on travel. And voila, Excel has automatically calculated the total amount spent by all the females and all the males uh, for which the data has been collected. This data shows up in a new sheet. So from this we can see that females have spent about $41,413,000 uh, uh, and males have spent $426,000. The, there is um, some difference but the difference is not extremely huge. Therefore we can't uh, conclude that let us exclude females from our marketing campaign. So how else can we analyze? Maybe the gender is not such a useful criteria for this. So I will take away the gender. And then maybe we will try to find if we can find any trend using the age. So I'll click age and we see that uh, age when you just click on it it will show up as a sum but this is not correct what we want is to take the age and drop it in the row labels Excel will display the amount spent for each age uh, group so for 25 years of age they have spent $28,000 26 is $22,000 and like this we can see from the age 25 to the age 64 but with, even with this, it looks like a lot of data and very difficult to find or identify any trend. One simple thing you can do in this case is to click on the age on the pivot table and right click. We will use the group option in Excel. When you click group, Excel will automatically suggest that the smallest number is 25 the largest is 64 so it will be good to group them by tens so if I just take Excel suggestion and click OK the data gets grouped into groups of 25 to 34 35 to 44 and so and so forth so with this we have all the data summarized in only four rows which makes it much easier to analyze it however if you notice the data it looks like all of the numbers are very close to each other 210, 203, 202, 223. Of course, again, we can see the difference in the numbers, but it is not so huge that we can conclude which group to exclude or which group to include. In this case, also, we are unable to find a decision. But remember, never give up so early whenever you are trying out the Excel pivot table technique. We should look at other ways to slice and dice. However, in this case, we have very little piece of data. So let us now bring the gender in as well. 
so I'll drag the gender and drop it in the column labels and now we can see that the data has been segmented by age group by the gender and from this you can see even though the difference in the totals is not very huge but when you split by males and females we are now able to see that males in the age group of 25 to 34 spend at least three times more compared to females whereas in the other age groups 35 to 44 45 to 54 the numbers keep increasing and when you reach 55 to 64 you can see that females spend 150,000 compared to males who spend only 72,000 so the equation pretty much changes as the age changes looks like it that males have a lot of money to spend on travel when they are younger and as they age get closer to their retirement age they have less and less money to spend whereas for the females they have been saving their money from the beginning and not going and not spending that much on travel and you can see that nearing the retiring age they have much more funds so I told the travel agency well if you want to maximize your uh, revenue what you should do is to take the younger males and the older females maybe send them on a cruise together so that way you will have a captive audience once they're on a cruise they have nowhere to spend except on the shops within the cruise liner so this way the travel agency can maximize their advertising uh, revenue and get as much uh, money as much revenue as they can from the potential customers who have the most money to spend so as you can see a simple technique pivot table has helped us to identify such a great trend which may not be visible just by the gender or just by the age group but as you slice and dice and analyze your data further with the pivot table you can find many such hidden gems pretty easily so with this I want to show you how easy it was to use Excel pivot tables. If you want more tips on how to use Excel in your day to day work simply go to excelchamp.net and sign up for our newsletter on the top right hand corner and we will send you simple and easy ways to analyze your data and many other Excel tips in your email box. All the best.